When connecting R3 ECC or S4HANA instances, the One Identity Manager Connect Synchronization Editor is used to configure the SAP connector for these instances. So in this case, I have started the Synchronization Editor and will configure a new connection to this SAP instance of mine. So running the Synchronization Editor project for SAP, will jump into the SAP R3 connection visit, which will ask for specific information about the target system. As discussed earlier in this video series, there are three different um, ways an SAP environment can be contacted. One instance is using an application server or a SAP router, or the other um, possibility is to go through a messaging server. Depending on which configuration you encounter, you will have to choose different options on this screen. The detailed information about the server names, the logon groups, and different configuration options, depending on the uh, connection uh, option, will be provided to you by the SAP basis administrators of the customer. In my environment, I will connect to the application server instance. So I choose the SAP R3 application server option. Next, I will be asked for an RCP R3 host or router, which is in this case the host name of my SAP instance. The system number and the system ID will provide it to you by the SAP basis administrators. The system number is usually 00, zero or it has two numbers and the system ID is a three letter code there are some recommendations from uh, SAP how to name these uh, system num uh, IDs. Um, mainly production systems start with a P, test systems start with a T, but customers are not required to follow these naming conventions from SAP. So in my case, the system ID is completely different. On this screen, no um, information is needed just in case if your SAP user account uh, that connects to SAP uh, should use SNC logon then you would have to check the SNC uh, checkbox here and need SNC configuration. SNC is the secure network communications um, option of um, SAP so the um, communication will be encrypted and the password uh, the logon will be passwordless using, uh, for example, Active Directory Kerberos single sign-on. In my case, username password will be required, so no options checked. And on the next screen, I will be asked for client-specific information. Uh, each SAP system can contain several clients. In my case, I will be connecting to client 400. And the logon name is the name of the service account I am going to use, in that case, um, I will use predefined user and not the service account I have created So and provide the password for this user account and the login language can be selected. The login language is sometimes uh, relevant if you have uh, non-English uh, instances or have uh, translations for role names etc. So uh, ask your customer if any customizations have been done that are not present in the English version. So when we go to the next screen, the connection will be tested. And during this test, uh, not only the uh, connection test is being executed, but also the transports are going to be checked on the system. So whether the user is member of the role or has the required permissions or the namespace is available on that client, this will be checked by this uh, step. And um, when this step is successful, we will be uh, going to the next screen where we will get other configuration options. So the test has been executed and the system is reachable and the connection was successful. On the next screen, I can add additional expert settings, but um, the remaining steps are just fine. So. When I click on finish, the communication uh, will be initiated, the schema will be downloaded from the SAP system, meaning uh, 
checks will be executed on the SAP side as well as uh, on the One Identity Manager database side and um, the uh, different options will be provided. Once the schema has been loaded, when I click Next, One Identity Manager's Synchronization Editor will provide me with different project templates. Project templates define the subset of information that I want to synchronize from this instance of the SAP service or SAP server or this client. So the first uh, synchronization would be the base administration. The base administration uh, manages user accounts, roles, profiles, uh, menus, and uh, these options from an SAP system. An additional uh, project could be authorization objects, which will synchronize the uh, contents of a profile like transactions, authorization objects, fields, and their values. A third uh, option would be business warehouse. So if I have author uh, analysis authorizations uh, configured in this system, I can synchronize this information. Another option is employee objects. This will uh, provide me information about um, employees, organizations, positions, if I want to have these informations, or if I'm interested in future dated events on employee objects, I will require to uh, adjust this specific project template. If I'm uh, confident with what is provided in the standard template, I will get employees, their work dates, managers, uh, departments, uh, etc. Um, and um, one last uh, project template is structural profiles, which are specific permissions in the HR uh, system that can be assigned to um, employees or accounts that uh, are um, using the employee module, the HR module, to operate on employee data. And there is another specific project template if the customer environment uses the CUA. The CUA is the central user administration uh, component of SAP in which case a central client is being promoted to master and will maintain the other client instances from the master instance of um, SAP. So basically this is um, the first versions of an SAP only identity management approach where a master instance ma is maintaining uh, client instances where user accounts are being provisioned and uh, permissions assigned through this master instance. So if the customer has this uh, setup, we will uh, be able to synchronize the information from the CUA master, synchronize the information from the CUA client, and maintain this situation or this setup through one identity manager, or we can resolve this situation by directly uh, moving the client management or uh, account management into one identity manager and um, resolving the CA. There are some dependencies between these project templates. So for example, if you uh, want to synchronize authorization objects, which are um, the contents of profiles, um, then you will require, or the system will require a base administration project template to be uh, uh, set up and executed. The synchronization must be run because otherwise the authorization objects will not be uh, added into the system since the uh, relationship between the transactions and profiles and authorization objects into profiles is not given. Um, same is true for the um, HR part. As you can see, um, if you want to synchronize uh, HR structural profiles, then you should at least have the information about employees and uh, the information about uh, accounts that are in the SAP client. So these are uh, dependencies that you uh, need to uh, check before synchronizing these different templates. For each template, when you select the template, the system will run and uh, ask additional information, like whether the system should be uh, read-write or read-only uh, connected. In uh, most cases, uh, read-write is the uh, correct choice. In the HR module case, the read-write option is only valid if the customer wants the um, employee's uh, communication data to be written back to the HR instance. 
which is email address, phone number, fax number. If the customer doesn't want this information to be fed back to the SAP HR uh, module, then read only option is a safe option. So once uh, you select the uh, next button, um, the connector will ask you about um, the tables that are being um, synchronized and that which changes uh, should be uh, filtered. The next screen will give you a revision filter option so you can select that revision filtering should be enabled and you can select for which um, tables revision filtering should be enabled or not. Finally, logging information will be uh, required. If you want to have logging information for synchronization or provisioning operations, you can select them on these next two screens. And finally, you have to select synchronization server queue, where this synchronization will be executed and the project will get a name which you can change. So once the connection is being uh, provisioned, all the um, schema objects will be set up, all the mappings will be uh, predefined uh, for you in this configuration template and then uh, customizations can be executed if necessary. So as you can see the mappings as seen earlier are in here so I can see user account information and the user mapping has been set up for me. These, these project templates uh, provided by One Identity uh, will allow you to um, easily uh, kick off uh, your project. These are meant as uh, recommendations or based on our best practices uh, that we see at customer sites. If this project template does not fit the customer environment, you are absolutely free to build your own mappings or start with this template and um, customize the project template mappings to your needs at the customer side. Or if you want to start with a completely blank project, uh, which I haven't uh, mentioned earlier, in the project template screen you can select blank project template and you can uh, create uh, the mappings and schema objects you're interested in uh, directly from there.